Hello everyone, in this video we will cover about the binary logistic regression, um, multivariate logistic regression and uh, uh, goodness of its fit. We will cover this part. So now we will go to the data, this is MPT. So I will add my data set. So this is uh, an example of data set. Uh, so we can use uh, cancer data. So now already it's added. So before uh, I am going to the analysis, let me introduce you about the let me introduce you about the data. So uh, this is it. it. Yeah, this is uh, by the way this is survival data, but let me show you as example. This is a period. Uh, this is time period. It's continuous variable. Died is a category variable. This is my outcome. Days is days. Days due to cancer is my one is days. Zero is uh, not days. So drug is uh, drug is uh, independent variable which have three categories. The one is. Uh, Placebo, two is treatment one, three is uh, treatment two. Age is continuous variable here. Uh, this is our variable data set. So, uh, so let me also introduce you by writing tab. Let me show you that died is an independent variable. So, this is uh, zero is one is died, zero is not died. So, in total, these are 48 uh, participants. So, also that means. Uh, so coding is zero is right one is one no coding problem. So the other is uh, let me show you about the independent variable of drug. So drug is uh, having three categories: one is placebo, two is statement, one three is statement two. Now age is a continuous variable. Age is a continuous variable. Uh, this is age variable. So. Uh, in order to run binary logistic regression and multivariate logistic regression so the dependent variable should be category so having two dichotomous category that so in the drug yes and no is has two categories so we can run binary logistic and multivariate logistic regression so the difference between binary and, uh, and binary logistic and multivariate logistic is that uh, when when uh, we are analyzed or compare between one dependent variable and one independent variable it's uh, we can say binary logistic regression analysis but if you are uh, analyzing one dependent variable with uh, one dependent variable with two dichotomous with independent variables more than or equal to two is called independent variable so in one side two and more than two independent variable added you can say that so uh, to analyze first let us see binary logistic regression analysis to uh, in the starter to do my binary logistic regression you can use the command logit so uh, this is a logit command we, we can write logit or we can say logistic so logic so i can insert my dependent variable is called diet as i show you the ideas have uh, to dichotomous variable yes and no yes is uh, died no is uh, not died so this is with died dependent variable then i will insert with my independent variable drug so uh, drug since drug is uh, drug is a category of the variable i will i will uh, mention by adding indicator i i is indicator so i will run this one so logic it will run now this is my analysis so now uh, this is a uh, coefficient p-value dependent variable dependent independent variable so this is confidence interval but now what uh, what should add is this is coefficient so if you want to add into if you want to shift or if you want to get the output coefficient into all this ratio you can uh, we can adjust our analysis by adding for this ratio bearing so now we will get exact so if it, the first is coefficient now is odds ratio so we have get odds ratio by the way this odds ratio is an adjusted odds ratio or we can say crude odds ratio since it's binary so this is iteration 0 1 to 5 so the 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 final or the last is taken minus 23 is taken so log like look at this minus 23.09 so the more is significant here probability is significant here 
so le, uh, le, so this is significant the module so now we have uh, this is drag one placebo is constant to end series uh, comparable so this is constant now died is a dependent variable this is independent variable the odds ratio for treatment one is 0 0.039 the odds ratio for treatment two or category three is 0 0.4 so uh, by the way the, the association between drug and outcome is significant so drug two is significant drug three is significant and this is a confidence interval this is 0 0.00 and 0 0.00 this confidence interval also shows significantly significant significant so mostly we can see the p-value or confidence interval but to report confidence interval is more better because uh, it shows the sample size variability or the weightage of the, the confidence interval showing how the strength of the evidence so uh, now uh, this is binary logistic regression if you want to interpret since the odds ratio is 0 0.03 that is less than one so uh, taking treatment two is protective factor for cancer death so those who take treatment two is more likely to recover from cancer uh, and also those who take treatment three is also 0 0.09 is more likely to recover or less likely to death this due to cancer due to cancer because uh, since odds ratio less than one it's protective odds ratio is greater than one it is a risk one is no association so this is a protective uh, uh, meaning taking uh, treatment to two is uh, mo taking to two, two is more uh, the 0 0.039 times uh, less likely to develop uh, the cancer uh, to die from cancer as compared to those of individuals who have been taken who have been taken the placebo the placebo since category one is placebo so you can interpret by this one so uh, or if you want to change in the percent see uh, percent about three uh, percent that means uh, 0.1 97% is more likely uh, more 97% uh, more likely uh, uh, to prevent from this uh, from cancer so we can subtract from one then times by 100 it will give 97% uh, less risk for this so this is binary logistic regression is most uh, most likely in binary logistic regression since it is not adjusted or since it is not controlled for covariates controlled so since for confounding factors uh, interpretation will not made in binary logistic regression but uh, in multiple logistic in multivariate logistic regression will will interpretation will be made so uh, uh, to make uh, uh, multivariate logistic regression it is easy so this is uh, binary logistic regression why i am saying binary logistic regression this is dependent variable one this is independent variable one so this is binary but to make multivariable i will add more than two uh, independent variable so this is h continuous variable and uh, this is uh, study time continuous variable so i will add h so since h is then not dichotomous i will remove indicator i so i can insert h so now uh, drag and age is independent variable so it's multivariable so uh, if you have more data sets we, we can add more independent variables so we can say multivariable logistic regression analysis so by this i can run so yeah this is drag to s3 now i add h so h is this one so now uh, multivariable regression output is this one so in this case as i told you the now it is controlled adjusted for h so in this case i can make this is similar what i uh, what i have discussed before in the odds ratio this odds ratio is not crude in this case adjusted odds ratio this is significant also the, the confidence interval is also significant so in this case i can in this case uh, uh, for instance treatment series 
0.04 so 0.04 if minus 1 is uh, uh, 0.96 so 96 uh, percent less likely to rec less likely two days from cancer uh, so uh, those who take treatment series less likely two days as compared to two those who take placebo placebo so this one but the important thing is age age is having uh, having good ratio above one so it's a risk factor or for relationship so as age uh, as age increases as age increases uh, uh, those who those who those individuals died by cancer will increase by the factor 1.213 1.2 sorry that means age and uh, days of cancer is have direct relationship so as age increases uh, also the likely of uh, dying due to cancer also increases by the factor 1.213 1.13 but it is not statistically significant so in our research now uh, drug will be reported since it's uh, significant but age is not uh, statistically significant so age is now drug only drug is interpreted and re uh, reported uh, actually age also reported but for finally in discussion part uh, drug is will be discussed more so uh, this is multivariable logistic regression but this one is binary logistic regression so now uh, we can add uh, by the way since uh, our data set is limited in variable but in our data set we can increase 20 30 independent variables 20 13 variables but the last one is uh, so this is uh, by uh, now we are done all uh, most of our workers but the last one is uh, whether uh, this multivariable logistic regression is f uh, has good model fitness or not so to check the model fitness we use uh, command stat gov gof this is a command for to check whether uh, goodness of test so uh, in this case stat gov in this case uh, i will run this one logistic model for guide goodness of a test so number of observation 48 number of cover pa patterns 36 the best thing is these two things Pearson chi square is 39.1 and probability of chi square is 0 0.17 0 0.17 since uh, this probability chi square is above 0 0.05 this model is good fit model this is mm, good fit model so our model is good fit so this is a uh, good news so we will report uh, our findings after this but if find, uh, this finding is less than 0 0.05 this model doesn't fit so we will uh, adjust uh, to make our uh, model is good fitness of test good enough fitness of test so uh, this is all about the binary logistic regression and multivariable logistic regression analysis and how to uh, test the goodness of it for multivariable logistic regression is made here so this is all about uh, this analysis to get the next analysis and to, to get the next courses and chapters videos don't forget to subscribe this channel have a nice time bye bye